Sorry about that. I remember a lot of these lines very vividly because of the how many times I played the beginning. The rumor, gossip, and sensationalism. Because of how many times I played at the beginning of the game. I noticed the writing at the foot of the page. It read Salah Eddin, 1345. In the original, you don't you don't actually see this. He just sort of says the stuff that's on the newspaper. But now we can go inside the now defunct cafe. Oh my head. Never again. How much vodka did I drink? Oh no, don't tell me. What is your name, Sherry? George Stobart, ma'am. You look like you could use a little help. I could use a little drink. I feel sick, dizzy, and bruised. I don't even remember the party. Just relax and take it easy. You've been knocked out. You don't say. What happened? There's been an explosion. You should try not to move. Are you a doctor? Uh, no. No, but I used to play hospitals when I was a kid. Can you remember anything at all? No. I need a drink. Pour me a brandy. Sure, why not? What could go wrong? Is that straight or with ice? Just give me the bottle with a teat on it. I guess right. a little drop won't hurt. I don't have any teats on me. I don't know what you want. Okay, that's a sound effect I do not remember. <laughs> she knocked back the brandy as if it was water. I was glad I wasn't picking up the check. Well, that was dumb. We probably shouldn't have given that to her. Because now she can't answer our questions. Of which we have many. Like, one, why did the Sight cafe explode? The guy's staring eyes turned my knees to jelly. I tried not to meet his stare as I searched the dead man's pockets. No wallet, no papers, no credit cards. The guy's past was a blank page. I really, really like George Stobart's, or that voice actor that plays George Stobart. I checked his pockets. Nothing. I could have sworn we could... It was the body of the old man. It was hard to believe I'd seen him alive only minutes before. I could have sworn we could pick something up from there. Let's try to uh, wake her from her brandy-induced hey, sleep. wake up! She didn't respond. If I wanted another cappuccino, I'd have to serve myself. Really? You're thinking of cappuccinos at a time like this? Let's put a newspaper on her. That'll solve the puzzle. Hey! Wake up! Did it work? Nope. Alright, I guess let's just leave. Inconspicuously leave. What if we go back in? Nope. One thing I do like about the director's cut is that these things, these little circles, show up. I hope Whoops. the fact that the mirror was already broken meant I'd escape the bad luck. The mirror is smashed into a thousand pieces. Bad luck for someone. Poor guy. He was pretty mashed up. This is clearly important. Um. He was pretty mashed up. What the hell? Why... Do we have this scene? I checked his pockets. Nothing. Um, okay. All right, well, let's go down this way then, shall we? And we'll talk to this guy. We'll, we'll be held up Please. by the police. Hold it right there. Oh, don't shoot. I'm innocent. I'm an American. Yep, Time those two things American. go hand in hand. I demand to see the American consul. Drop your weapons and get down on the ground. Put that thing away, Sergeant Mu. I apologize, monsieur, but I cannot permit you to leave. Am I under arrest? Ah, uh, no. I would simply like to ask you some questions. En avant, to the cafe. Marche. What a mess. This bombing is an outrage, is it not? Stop that, monsieur! 
Has it occurred to you that he may be dead, Mou? Oui, monsieur. But I prefer to look on the bright side. Besides, I recall a case where the killer escaped by feigning death. However, in this case, the man is quite dead. Excellent police work. Examine Sergeant the Moe. girl and take her statement, if you can. Good luck. She's unconscious. Hey, maintenant, to business. Your name, please? George Stobart. I'm from California. And what brings you to Paris, Monsieur Stobart? Travel. I'm touring Europe. You chose well. The city is most beautiful at this time of year, no? Uh, yeah. I guess so. Apart from the bomb blasts. Were you in the vicinity of the cafe at the time of the explosion? Yeah, I was sitting out on the sidewalk. I was Drinking. lucky I wasn't killed. The inspector passed over my remark with no reaction. Did you see the deceased enter the cafe? I did, yes. Yes, I did. Was he alone? Uh, yeah. And did he say anything to you? No. He was more interested in the waitress. Did you see anyone else in the cafe? A clown? Yeah, there was a guy dressed as a clown. He was carrying an accordion. An accordion? Bon. The picture is forming in my mind. And it is not a pretty one. Is the girl all right, Mu? She'll live if she survives the hangover. She doesn't remember seeing a clown, monsieur. That's odd, don't you think, monsieur? Who am I to believe, I wonder? Eh bien, I have heard enough. What do you mean? I am satisfied that you know nothing. You may leave. I hope this little incident does not spoil the rest of your vacation. What about my personal safety? Can't you at least give me some advice? What can I say? Stay alert and look out for suspicious characters. And don't cross the road until the little man shows green. Great <laughs> advice. I, I honestly believe you are in no danger, monsieur. Should you remember anything of importance, please contact me. My card. Thank you. For your card. Ow, you Thanks. gave me a paper that cut. You may Dick. go. There's not much to go on, monsieur. On the surface, no. But what lurks inside the subconscious? If the door can only be opened. Ooh, that's Are some woo-woo stuff. Monsieur? I thought your interest in psychic detection was purely academic. Okay. And this is where George Stobart and Nicole Collard meet for the first time. Oops. I just walked away from her. All right, let's try this again. I know you're nervous to meet women, George, but it's perfectly okay. If I do it just right, her head looks like a pair of lips. I can't. <laughs> I can't even. There we go. <laughs> All right. Excuse okay, me, enough of that. Mademoiselle? Hi. Uh, my name's George Stobart. Oh, an American by the sound of it. Yep, that's right. On vacation in Paris. <laughs> Some vacation, huh? You were here when the bomb went off? Sure was. Sat right out in front of the cafe. Did you notice a middle-aged man, maybe 60, with a hat and overcoat? I couldn't believe it. She hadn't even asked how I was feeling. Yeah, he went inside just before the bomb exploded. You weren't related to him, were you? Oh, no, nothing like that. I'm Nicole Collard. From La Liberté. Uh, what is that, uh, some kind of nightclub? Oh, no, it's a newspaper. You're a reporter? I'm a freelance photojournalist. Say, you could interview me about the bombing. An eyewitness account. Minutes after the outrage that shook the whole of Paris. You know, real-life drama, human interest, that kind of stuff. I'll just stick to the facts, thank you. Did you see who planted the bomb? I know it sounds crazy, but he was dressed like a clown. A clown? It's him again. It's him again? Oh, what do you know about this clown? Could it possibly be the same person that was the mime? <gasps> Careless Rack, spoilers. Who was the guy you were supposed to meet? His name was Planter. I didn't know him, but he called me last night. He said he had a story which would interest me. He asked me to meet him at the cafe. I guess I'll never know what he wanted to tell me. Well, not unless you have Rosso's gift for psychic interrogation. How did Plantard get your name? 
through the newspaper, La Liberté. I'd written an article linking two unsolved murders, one in Italy, the other in Japan. The cases were remarkably similar. A wealthy victim, no apparent motive, and a costume killer. Plantard said he could supply me with more information. Somehow the clown must have known about our appointment. Do you know a police officer called Rosso? Rosso? Our paths have a knack of crossing. If I didn't know better, I'd say it was deliberate. Have you seen Rosso? Is he here? He's inside, attempting to question a witness with his psychic powers. That guy is weird. Yeah. <laughs> he have is. you met the clown before? It's a long story. I have plenty of time. I don't. Ooh, shot down. A uh, swing and a miss for our protag, George Stobart. Why won't you tell me about the clown? Why do you want to get involved? Because he almost killed me. Isn't that reason enough? Mm, I guess so. Listen, I'll give you my phone number. Hell yeah. You help me with my story and I'll let you in on what I know. And let's get one thing straight right now. This, this is, is all business. personal. Okay, uh, it's a deal. I have to go develop these pictures. I'll be on soon with you. Uh, fine, uh, I'll see you soon. Nifty. Okay. Here she goes. She disappears into the ether. Now we can... I guess we can... We need to go this way. And we need to talk to this guy. Who I'm sure all of you will just absolutely adore. Hey, you! I thought you'd been arrested! No, nah, it was a misunderstanding. When he pulled that gun, gah, I thought that was it. Those automatics by quite a punch, you know? He made a mistake. He thought I was a terrorist. You? A terrorist? Ha! He was only doing his duty, I guess. Did you see an old guy with a briefcase? Wait, silly old coot. Do you know what he said to me? Work fascinates me, he says. I could watch it all day. Beat. I could have knocked this block off. Did you recognize the old man? No. Should I have done? Was he a celebrity? No, but I guess he is now. His name was Plantar. Was? He's dead then? Yeah. That's too bad. Now I wish I hadn't called him what I did. If only I could turn back the clock. If only I'd been more tolerant. Regret and remorse are strange emotions. They really bring out the hammiest actors in people. What do you know about a clown? Did you see a clown come by this way? A clown? Like in a circus? Yeah, with makeup and a big red nose. Ho! Huh. Those guys are funny, aren't they? Not in my experience. I love the circus, especially the horses. You haven't answered my question. Have you seen a clown? You think I've got time to watch everyone who passes by? Some of us have to work for a living. I think you'd notice a clown, though. Look, I know you're busy, but surely you'd have noticed a clown. Exactly. I told you already. I didn't see a thing. He was wearing multicolored baggy trousers and makeup. He'd be a poor sort of clown if he didn't. Listen, I have to find that clown. He's a killer. Say, who are you anyhow? A cop? No, of course not. I mean, do I look like a cop? No, but you act like one, sticking your nose in where it's not wanted. How do you know this guy's a killer? Did you see him in action? Didn't you hear the explosion? The cafe was blown up. I wondered what that bang was. Any bodies? Yeah, we yeah. just got finished talking about the old man. Nerd. I didn't think it was that serious. What about the waitress? Oh, she's fine. Thank the saints. Oh. He wants Would the newspaper. Would you like to read my newspaper? I haven't got time to read that. Can't you see I'm busy? You could read it on your lunch break. Ten minutes is all I get. And if my boss had his way, I wouldn't get that. He'd have me on a drip, so I didn't have to stop to eat. Oh, take the newspaper and quit complaining. Bah! Look at these damn bleeding out liberals. Cha! Save the dolphins, catch them, and eat them, I say. 
Oh, ah, that Trump supporter all the way fish. over here in nah, Perry. That's more like it. Look at the size of those. Like champagne bottle corks. No. Ah, what's this? Saladin running in the Prix de l'Arc de Triomphe. It's a racehorse? A horse? A legend. Bicephalus reborn, mon ami. Like a streak of lightning she is. Do me a favor, won't you? Keep an eye on my hole. I'm off to put some money on that nag. What about your toolbox? Stop it. Help yourself. Still laughing at the line, keep an eye on my hole. Now we can rummage through his stuff. I found a T-shaped tool in the box. I didn't know what it was, but it looked useful. Some music welled in the background. Clearly I was onto something. Uh, we haven't found anything yet, so let's not call Nico. Because she'll get all pissy at us and be like, Oh, you were calling me. Ha ha ha. Wee wee. The clown had fled into this alley, but there was no sign of him now. I was intrigued by Nico and what she could tell me about the explosion. Clearly the clown climbed up this pipe. I took a deep breath and prepared to climb the drain pipe. I guess the clown had an escape over the rooftops. He clearly snuck past these bars. The clown clearly is hiding in this trash can. Mystery solved. It smelled like someone had dumped a truckload of fish in a locker room on a hot summer afternoon. Very descriptive, George. Okay, clearly he's hiding under this one. Just kidding, it was a cat. Haha, ha. you got debated. Where's my inventory? We use the T-shaped tool and the circle-shaped man hole cover. And done. I lifted the cover to reveal what smelt like the entrance to a sewer. How you fit that entire tool inside of your jacket pocket is beyond me. Slowly now. Not too fast, George. It's not like we've all got places to be. Yep, any day now, George. You can go pick up the red ball. As I picked up the plastic ball, I realized it was intended to be worn. It was the clown's red nose. That's it. Mystery solved. And that's the end of the game, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Broken Sword. I hope you enjoyed. I scooped up the sodden tissue. It was cold and greasy. Like breakfast leftovers. Who doesn't like breakfast leftovers? I took hold of the scrap of material and unsnagged it from the spike. And then you climbed the ladder. Hi there. Hold it right there, you... you sore rat. <laughs> I knew you'd come back. And now I've got you. What are you talking about? You're trespassing. Come out of there, immediately. That's what I'm trying to do. Give me your hand. <laughs> ha! You won't catch me with tricks like that. Keep your distance, monsieur. Okay, okay. Now, what were you looking for? A clown. I was looking for a clown. Ha! Huh. Ridiculous. Do you really expect me to believe that? He planted a bomb in the cafe and blew it up. What? The cafe? Blown up? Mon dieu, that is awful. And you say the person responsible was dressed as a clown? That's right. He blew up the cafe, escaped into the sewer, changed his clothes, and came up here. Ah, mon dieu. Then, the man I chased, do you think that man and the clown are one and the same? Well, yes, it had crossed my mind. Ah, 
that still does not explain what you are doing down the sewer. For all I know, you are in league with him. Oh no, I'm just a tourist. Haha, <laughs> most tourists are content with the Eiffel Tower, the Louvre, or the Pigalle. I didn't realize my waste pipes were such an attraction. Good point. I'm a police officer. Perhaps you'd like to take a look at my card? Mm -hmm. What is this? Inspector Augustin Rosso? What does that say? Hominoid division? A homicide. I think the ink's smudged. Also, why is it written in English? Then you are not a tourist. Okay, I'm not. I lied to you. And I'm sorry. Don't apologize, monsieur. You know, I had a feeling there was something different about you. It is your posture, your, your poise. Oh, yes. There is no mistaking the bearing of a, a disciplined man. And uh, I should know. I was in the army, you know. When I was Get out of town. Age, I was fighting for my life in the African desert. Uh, how can I help you, Inspector? Tell me everything you know about this fabric. Does this piece of material mean anything to you? Ah, that is the same cloth as the jacket I found. I'd recognize that pattern anywhere. Could you tell me more about now, it? about the jacket you found. Do you have it here? No, monsieur. One of the sleeves was badly torn, so I sent it for repair. <laughs> a pity, because otherwise it was a fine piece of quality tailoring. It had the tailor's name inside on the label. No way. Tell me more. Where did you send the jacket? I gave it to an itinerant Romani seamstress. Just my luck. Was there anything in the jacket pockets? Mm -hmm. Not a sou. You know what I think? Do tell me. Mm -hmm. He changed out of the clown suit and cunningly disguised himself as an ordinary person. Hmm. Looks like I'm up against a mastermind. What was the name on the label? Ah, it was a foreign name. Todrick, I think. Did you get the address? There wasn't one, monsieur. Only a telephone number. Well, I don't expect you to remember a phone number you've only seen once. 74980859. You're kidding. That's his phone number? Yes, that's it. A little trick with numbers that I learned in the desert. I was taught the technique by a Tuareg shaman. That's incredible. <laughs> it comes in handy at the supermarket checkout. Uh, do I get a reward? Honesty, monsieur, is its own reward. Then I'm glad I do not rely on honesty to pay the bills. Good point. Let's talk about this. This is one of my favorite things about the game is you get this greasy tissue and you can ask about it like to anybody and they always have some funny thing to say about it. What does this tissue mean to you? Nothing, monsieur. It's uh, mm, disgusting. What <laughs> on earth possessed you to show it to me? Someone <laughs> has emptied their nostrils into it. <laughs> oh, I love that. It's one of my favorite things. Take a look at this false nose. Aha. Uh -huh. That looks like a clown's nose to me. Precisely. He must have dropped it in his panic. Unless... He wanted you to find it. Why would he want to do that? To put you off the scent. I don't understand how that logically follows. Let's just ask more about this stuff. Was the guy you saw carrying a briefcase? Why, yes, he was. Clutched in his arms like a baby. That belonged to his victim. Oh, what do you think was in it? Drugs? Stolen jewels? I don't know. But the killer thought it was worth a man's life. <laughs> Nothing is worth that, monsieur. Tell me about the man you apprehended. <laughs> he was a mean one, monsieur. He grabbed me in an unlock. His face suddenly next to mine. His grip was like iron. But he did not know what he was up against. Oh no. He made a big mistake when he took on one of the desert hyenas. Yes, yes, I get the picture. 
Do you know the waitress at the cafe? <laughs> you, you, you can't suspect her. Ah, surely. Just answer the question, please. Yes, uh, I know her quite well, you could say. Uh, she came to work at the cafe oh, uh, six, uh, seven months ago. I look forward all week to the relief she gives me when she visits. Really? So you'd miss her if she wasn't there? Oh, mais oui! Who else would I find to cut my toenails? Perverts, you thought it was about sex, but you were wrong, so... <sighs> I'm disappointed. Does the name Plantar mean anything to you? No, it doesn't. And that's that. We can ask about this, this but I don't I think it's... This is what I used to open the manhole cover. I have one just the same as that, monsieur. I will fetch it if you like. No, don't bother. Oh, it is no bother, monsieur. Nah, forget it. Just trying to be helpful, monsieur. Uh, now we've got all the information we need, I have to we be can going. leave. Thanks to your help, the citizens of Paris can sleep a little easier tonight. Vraiment? I was only doing my duty, monsieur. Good luck, inspector. I hope you catch that killer soon. Don't you worry. We're gonna catch that killer. You bet your sweet so the bippy. escaped into the sewer, come up into the courtyard, and then slipped back into the street here. It wasn't much, but it was more than the cops had got. It's presumptuous of you. The good news is this is the perfect time to end it for now. And I will see you all next time on Broken Sword, Shadow of the Templars.